去的。Okay, I WhatsApp you. Is this yours? Yes, thank you. Are you okay? Someone stole my iPhone. Can I borrow your phone to call the police? Hello, police? Madam, are you the one that called for police? Yes, yes. Can you tell me what happened? The man came out of nowhere, grabbed my phone, ran off. I thought he was just waiting for the bus. Are you injured in any way? No, I'm fine. You managed to get a look at him? No, I'm sorry. He knocked off my glasses. I couldn't see anything. But luckily, he was here. How about you, sir? Do you manage to get a look at him? No. By the time I got here, he was gone. For a mail one, case confirmed. Male subject running along Clemens Hill Avenue towards Somerset Road. Mama Rizal Mirosli. Your bike number? GHX mm -hmm. 8105. Okay, bye. I want to make a police report. Please take a seat here. Can you tell me what happened? Someone stole my handphone. I was at a bus stop at Clemency Avenue, the one near the Indian temple. Did you manage to see this person? He's a man. He ran away very fast. Was he a Chinese man, Malay, Indian? I can't be sure. Can you describe this man to me? He was average height. Slim, short hair. Okay. Do you recall what he was wearing? Jeans, the colour of his shirt? I'm not. Wait, he had a white stripe. He had a jacket with a white stripe. What type of jacket? Denim leather? It's a motorcycle jacket. He stole my iPhone. It cost me 180. Do you recall which direction he ran towards? Towards River Valley Road. I'm very sure of the direction. Okay, and how long ago did this happen? It just happened about 20 30 minutes ago. Okay, I'll send out a lookout message. Diction to all cars. All cars to look out for a male suspect wearing motorcycle jacket with white stripe. Last seen running towards River Valley Road. He's believed to be involved in a case of snatch theft at the vicinity of Clemens Hill Avenue. I could don't have to acknowledge. We'll keep a lookout. For Papa One, Roger and Knowledge. Message and echo standing by.
Wait, I'll call you back. Sir, sir. We have a police report of another snatch death case. Same models of Brandy, the victim is a small size woman and she was at a bus stop waiting and using her phone when the man snatched it. Did the victim get a description of the suspect? The victim said that the man was wearing a motorcycle jacket with a white stripe. That's not much of a description. We really need a break in this case. Keep working on it. Yes, sir. Hey, what? Get hey. up. Can I get in? Huh? Hey, here's the 100 ringgit I owe you for the life I put. Oh, yeah. Thanks, bro. My boss hmm. looking for the latest iPhone, ah, if you can find in Singapore. Latest? Um, can. I try. OK, good. Hey, see you, ah. See you. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Uh, Muhammad Rizal Mirusli. Okay, what is your purpose of visiting Singapore? Uh, sh shopping. Okay. Thank you. If he talks like that to you again, Tell him I will come. I will beat him like Manny Pacquiao. You tell him, okay? Yeah. Uh huh. What do you have for me? This is Madam Flora. She was the one who made the police report. Madam Flora, are you able to talk? Yes. I need to ask you a few questions. No problem. As long as you catch that stupid thief. Can you describe the thief? Yes. I will never forget his face. He beat me up. And he took my bag. Then he ran away. What was he wearing? He was wearing a jacket. Is there anything special about the jacket? Yes, there was a white stripe on it. And which direction did he run towards? That way. He ran that way. That direction. Towards Patterson Road? Yes, that direction. Thank you. Has she been attended to by CDF? No, she refused medical attention. Sir, these are the items that Madam Flora reported that were in her bag. About 2,800 in cash, one Nokia phone, and three gold necklaces. Okay. Wow. What do you have? Hey. Nokia. Huh? 50 ringgit. 50? 60 lah. Ah, okay lah, okay lah. Mm. Hey, wait. I got something else. Like this, ah. Necklace. Wow. First handphones now, necklace. Power, ah. You know anyone interested in this or not? Uh, you can try Awad down the road. He might pay you for the necklace. Awad? Mm. Oh, what? The big stomach? Yeah. Hey, mm. be careful, man. Don't get caught. No worries. Bye. Okay. This is the first case in which he seriously injured the victim. He's starting to get more violent. And more daring. He has now moved on from snatching handphones to snatching handbags. All the crimes happened at the Clemenceau, River Valley area. All the victims were women who were using the handphones at the time of the robberies. All the robberies took place between 8.30pm to 9.30pm. Are there any images from any nearby CCTVs? The areas where the robbers struck were quite isolated, so there were not many CCTVs around, and those that we viewed did not show any suspicious activities. Gentlemen, we need to find him soon, before he goes out and injures other people.
是 Ben Hong Kong H H Ben Hong Kong H。Ms. Lim,、mm. my name is Edwin. I'm the investigation officer in charge of your case. I just read your police report. I need to ask you a few questions. Sure, please find my bag. I've got a lot of important documents inside. I have my student card and my ATM card. I understand. Are you able to tell me what the robber was wearing? Um, he was wearing a jacket with, with a white stripe. You said you think he may have fled on a motorcycle. Did you see the license plate? Ah,、uh, yes. J H X,、uh, Japan Hong Kong X Ray. Yeah, I used that to remember. J H X. Yeah, J H X.、Uh, eight, one,、uh, something. I don't remember the numbers, but I remember the letters. It's a Johor registered motorcycle. Contact ICA. Ask them for records of entries of all Malaysia registered motorcycles. Joe. The request by Otom from Tanglin Division. Is it ready? Yes, sir. I have extracted all Malaysian registered motorcycles for the period he requested, sir. Good. Email it to him now. Yes, sir. Gentlemen. Do we have anything, sir? We found several entries for the motorbike in question. The owner is Muhammad Rezwan. The registration plate number is JHX eight one zero five, and his last exit was yesterday at about ten o five p.m. So we also managed to get related images from the CCTV from ICA. This was from last night. Rezwan also entered Singapore six other times. Entry is usually made between eight p.m. and nine p.m., and exit is made between ten p.m. and eleven p.m. So he usually spends about an hour or so in Singapore. Was the date of his first entry on 14 November 2011 between 8 and 9 p.m.? Yes, 14 November 2011. He entered at 8:15 p.m. That's the date of the first reported snatch theft case. 8:15 gives him enough time to travel to Clemenceau Avenue, where the robbery happened at 9:25 p.m. His next entry was on 9 December 2011 at 8 p.m. That's the same date the second snatch theft case was reported. And all his other entries also tally with the dates when the other snatch thefts occurred. Okay, Mozamil, alert our Malaysian Interpol counterparts. See if they can pick up any trace of him. Yes, sir. Tom, alert ICA to monitor and inform us the moment he enters Singapore. Yes, sir. Get the rest of the team. Call for a case conference now. Yes, sir. The ICA has been advised to monitor and inform us immediately the moment he enters Singapore. Based on his crime pattern, we roughly know the areas where he was tried. So we will deploy three separate lookout teams at Clemenceau, Patterson, and Grange Road. He is no longer a snatch thief. He has two cases of robbery and one more in hurt. He is known to be violent. So officers, please proceed with caution. Any questions? No sir. No sir. No sir. Let's go. This is Inspector Tay from ICA Tuas Checkpoint. We've been alerted that your suspect has just cleared immigration. Okay, thank you. Yes, Tom. Sir, ICA just reported that suspect has cleared immigration. Alert the teams. If he follows his pattern, we have about 30 minutes before he strikes. Is reporting over. Echo two in position. Over. Echo three in position. Roger.
This is Echo 1 to all units. Any sign of suspect, over. Negative at Echo 2. No sign of suspect, over. This is Echo 3. Situation normal. All units, continue surveillance, over. Sir, this is Echo 3. I have found the suspect's motorbike at my location and the engine is still warm. I believe he's somewhere around here, so I'm going to comb the area right now. Echo 2, proceed to Echo 3 location now. Echo 3, continue surveillance. I'm heading to your location now. Over. This is Echo 3. Tango spotted. I repeat, Tango spotted. Heading overhead bridge behind the car park along Orchard Boulevard. is moving back towards the cup up. Echo 2, proceed to intercept. Hold on. Stop, please. Hey, please. Ah. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Muhammad Rizwan bin Rosli, I am I.O. at Win Chong. You are under arrest for suspicion of robbery. It's my first time. I I promise I won't do it again. Okay? What are you doing in Singapore? Shopping. This is our immigration records of you entering Singapore the last seven times. So? You always enter between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. And then you leave between 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. All your seven entries into Singapore coincide with all the seven snatch theft cases. This is your passport. Based on our records, all the dates and times of your entries and exits corresponds with all the dates and times of the snatch thefts. Are you telling me all this is just a coincidence? I make so many trips here. Do you think you're going to remember all the dates? Maybe you remember this one better. 29 January 2012. This was the day you punched a woman and she was badly injured. Unfortunately for you, Mama Rizwan, the woman you punched, she recognized you. She already ID you. Tell me, why did you do it? They all made it so easy for me to take their phones away. I saw how easy it was when I was working as a waiter. I finished work at 1 a.m. and I saw something interesting. Everyone is so distracted with phones. Talking, texting, playing games. And I thought to myself, it's so dark and quiet. There's nobody around. And almost everyone has an expensive phone. I could make more money selling one iPhone than working one month as a waiter. It would be so easy to just take their phones away. Why not? And if it's so easy to snatch the phones, it's also no big deal to snatch your bags too, right? So I ask you again, did you commit all these robberies? Yes. Mohammad Rizwan bin Rosli was charged with two counts of robbery, one with hurt, and four counts of snatch theft. 
he was sentenced to four years, six months imprisonment, and 12 strokes of the cane. In this case, the close operational coordination and cooperation among the home team departments, namely the Singapore Police Force and the Immigration and Checkpoints Authority, resulted in decisive law enforcement action that led to the swift arrest of the suspect. From January to June 2014, there were 109 reported robbery cases. From January to June 2015, there were 69 reported robbery cases. From January to June 2014, there were 81 reported snatch theft cases. From January to June 2015, there were 55 reported snatch theft cases. While there has been a continued decrease in confrontational crimes, such as snatch theft and robbery, members of the public should not be complacent. Low crime doesn't mean no crime. So members of the public are encouraged to remain vigilant and adopt the following preventive measures. Avoid exposing your valuables unnecessarily. Be attentive to your surroundings. Move towards a location with more people if you suspect that you are being watched or followed. When returning home alone or late at night, arrange for someone to accompany you. If you are confronted by a thief, stay calm and do not resist. You may be hurt if you do so. Take note of his appearance, especially distinctive physical features. Call the police as soon as possible so that our officers can reach your location quickly to assist you. We've come to the end of this episode of Crime Watch. If you have any feedback, do drop us an email. Until next month, I'm DSP Julius Lim, signing off.